Hey, I know it's not Cinco de Mayo anymore. Hi, it's Tuesday. You're watching Tasty Tuesday. Show is Tuesday. I try to make something tasty. Sometimes it works. I have to leave to catch a plane to Vietnam in 45 minutes, so hopefully this recipe goes really quick. If not, you'll never see this video. I wanted to make sure to get a Tasty Tuesday up for Cinco de Mayo, which is this weekend. I'm on my way to Southeast Asia to celebrate Mexico, and that's just what happens in my life. I'm just super cultured. So I wanted to do something with jalapenos, because we used some jalapenos in a cream sauce last week using Hot For Foods recipe, and that made me like think, oh, Mexico, what can we make with jalapenos? And so I was thinking jalapeno poppers, but that seems pretty American. <laughs> and also, I wanted something a little bit more healthy. So then I thought, what if we did taco stuffed jalapenos? You know how sometimes you stuff bell peppers? What if we did that with jalapenos? We put all the stuff we put in a taco into a jalapeno. Will it work? I don't know. I don't jalapeno. No. We're gonna find out. Hopefully it all works in 45 minutes. <laughs> Let's make this dish. Step one, we're gonna preheat our oven to 400 degrees Fahrenheit. Words are going faster than my brain. That's okay. Done, did it. Next, we're gonna take our jalapenos, which I've already trimmed the top off, sliced in half, and de-seeded and rinsed. The only thing is, is like my fingers are stingy now. I don't know if that was a good idea to do before a 21 hour flight, because when you cut jalapenos, the seeds say jalapeno nails for like three days and you can't touch your face, but no time to talk about that. Also, these dishes are clean. I don't have time to pretend that I put them away all the time. This is real life. Get with the picture. Jalapenos, we're talking about those. Let's do that. We're gonna take some olive oil and we're gonna brush our jalapeno halves. Oh, killing it today. I'm jalapenoing them. Jalapeno them. You get it. Say good to Mayo. Done, did it. Who's this? Oh, it's Steve. Yay, I love him. I miss him. He's not here, he's in Florida. You could have loved this dish though, because it's jalapenos. He loves jalapenos. No time to talk about how I'm the worst wife ever. Next, we're gonna make um, some ground beef or some beefless ground beef which is what I'm using from Trader Joe's. Usually I like to use Light Life, the Tex-Mex mix, because it kind of tastes like tacos already, but I didn't have time to get that, so this was in my fridge already. And we're making this. Deal with this. Cinco de Mayo. Shut up. Hey, shut up. Steve's not here for me to tell him to shut up, so i tell you to shut up. We're gonna take a medium-sized pan, and we're gonna put it on our stove, and we're gonna make the video our camera go like that. And then we're gonna medium-high heat, or medium heat. Let's do medium. No, medium-high heat. I'm feeling confident. We'll just stick with olive oil, sure, yeah. Let's put some of that in there. It doesn't have a high smoke point, but it'll work, hopefully. Then we're gonna take, like, three garlic cloves. Gar garlic go, garlic go. Oh my gosh, why are you so difficult? I realize that whenever you're underconfident with a dish that you just made up on the fly, Start with garlic and onions. It immediately makes you smell like you know what you're doing. Hey, cool tip. So garlic, then I have this red onion in the fridge. I'm sure a yellow onion would be better, but we don't have time. Boom. Bitches. You're not a bitch. I'm, hey, I'm so sorry. I'm just rushed right now. That's probably too much onion. I don't care. Leave me alone. I gotta get on a plane. Nikki, why are you so bad with time management? Well, because I don't have time to manage it, obviously. But we're gonna like do this until the onions get clear. Hopefully they are fast at that. Oh. Hey, not nice. Oh, this smells delightful. Okay, our onions are pretty translucent now. We're gonna add our beef, or our beefless beef, or you know what, whatever you wanna put in your tacos. It could be um, beans, I don't care. Cook something tasty and put it in your put it in your pan. I'm gonna break this all up, because we don't want a block of meat in our jalapenos. The thing that's cool about beefless beef is it's already cooked. You just have to kind of warm it up. That's tight. You smell delicious. Oh my gosh. We're all just gonna heat it up though, because we're pro chefs in this kitchen. We're we're gonna add some taco mix to this mix and get the party going. It's already open because I used it for the avocado egg rolls we made a couple weeks ago, if you recall, if you ricotto those. I don't really know how much of this to use. Probably not too much, cause it's kinda spicy. But you know, probably not too little either, cause we're kinda spicy, you know? Hey, you calm down. And let's see, does that taste good? Oh, that tastes muy bueno. You know what, muy bueno to you too. I'm gonna add some more taco seasoning, cause I thought this was way spicier, it's not. I can barely handle any spice. So jalapenos is a good choice, yeah? Okay. I think this is pretty done now. I'm gonna turn off the heat and I'm gonna pump up the jams because this party is getting really lit. Now I'm gonna take, I don't know, a spoon? I'm making it up as I go along today. How do you like that? How do you like them apples? I'm just gonna take spoonfuls like this and I'm gonna fill up my jalapenos. Oh, it is going everywhere. What, what, what? Stop it. I really wanna roll these 
jalapenos with an iron fist, but that's just not how leaders do it, you know? Leaders let the subordinates do what, what they want. Oh my god, this is so spicy now. Wow, damn, I got some beef with this beefless beef. How dare you? I'm gonna be so hyper on this plane ride. This is like so much adrenaline. The thing about jalapenos is there's not much to hollow out there. There's not a, not a lot of room for a stuffing thing that you're doing. It's very small in here. I wonder if we can overstuff it or if, if it will get overwhelmed. I don't want to overwhelm you. I just want you to hold my taco meat. That's what he said. <laughs> that might be a questionable situation. Okay, our jalapenos are all stuffed with beefless beef or beef or whatever you put in your jalapenos. I don't care, I don't live your life. I'm not here to rule you. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put this uh, these this cheese on top. I got cheddar style, it's actually cheeseless cheese. What is real anymore in my life? Nothing, this is all a dream. You can use regular cheese if you like. I like the dairy-free kind. I actually prefer the taste of it. I never used to like cheese. I had to like grow to like dairy in general. People have mixed feelings about this but I like it so suck it I mean I don't I don't really have time for you to suck it so just hold off you owe me one put as much cheese as you would on a taco that's what this is about I'm just completely burying these jalapeno poppers and cheese okay I think that's it now we're just gonna pop these in the oven for 15 minutes and hopefully that's enough time if not we're fucked do it Cinco to my go 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 while those are in the oven, I'm gonna make my toppings. I was gonna put a tomato on them, but then it just seems like a tomato's way too big for them. So I'm just gonna put salsa, and then I'm gonna put guacamole. And if you like sour cream, you can add sour cream too. That sounds delightful, but I don't have any, so don't, you know, get excited about that. It's not happening. I'm gonna make some guacamole, some really simple guacamole. I just use an avocado mashed up. I add salt, some salsa. That's the key ingredient. That's how you don't have to make other, chop up other stuff. And then some lemon pepper and some paprika, and boom! You got some bomb guacamole. It's been 15 minutes, our peppers are done. Hopefully, hopefully they're done. Don't jinx us. Hopefully these jalapenos are shriveled enough that they're not too spicy. Cause I don't really have time to wait for you to get more shriveled. This one looks pretty shriveled. We're gonna roll with it. I originally wanted to make some sort of dipping sauce like a chipotle aioli or like a nacho cheesy type of sauce. Ooh, I bet that jalapeno cream sauce we made last week would probably go really well with these. Just to balance it out. But I don't have time, I gotta catch a plane. Stop trying to make me miss it. Cinco de Mayo, motherfucker. These are fresh out of the oven. I'm really dumb. I'm gonna try to take them off this pan with my hand or with these. These are probably smarter. If you have the time, you could probably wait a few minutes and, like for them to cool off and shit. Right, that's not working. Hands it is. Ah. <laughs> Spatula. Spatula, duh. Ow, I'm still using my hands. Why, why am I still using my hands? I'm so stupid. Enough, we gotta go, we gotta catch a plane. Beautiful, beautiful. I don't even watch Gordon Ramsay, but Steve gets him stuck in my head. Look at these, they look and smell amazing. I, hopefully they taste amazing. I'm gonna put some of our toppings on. I think if I try to make these again, I'll make them with sauces. But I'm putting some guacamole on there. Put a lot of guacamole, because I have to got to. Avocado, have to got to. I don't know. It doesn't work. It's the end of the night. We're almost done. Some salsa. Oh my gosh. I made a tower and it fell. And here we go. These are our taco stuffed jalapeno poppers. Taco bad a good idea, huh? Is it though? We don't know. We still have to taste them. Let's not get ahead of ourselves. Check it out, check it out, check it out. Well, you can't really see. The light is terrible. They look really good though. Take my word for it. Oh, there we go. Oh, there we go. It's lit now. And it's lit. Look who we have. It's Hi. Steve. Hi, I'm Steve. It's Steve. Definitely Steve. You can come closer. No, no. This is Steve's brother. Nate, you may have seen him in other videos. Uh, he's gonna be my Tasty Tuesday man today. Do you want to do your best Steve impression? Oh, hey, what's up, everybody? Uh, I'm Steve Green. Oh my uh, god. You guys might know my wife, Nikki. Whoa. Uh, so, like, you know, I guess we're just gonna chat out on some of these uh, on some of these jalapeno things. Wow, that is, that sounds just like Steve. <laughs> He is usually so excited. Oh, I know. <laughs> He's just a man of excitement. Is it hot? It is not, actually. Oh, good. Uh, hot, hot. You put it all, wow. Dang, did it all in one bite? I don't know if I could do that. I mean, I can, but. It's like almost as good as something you get at Taco Bell. <laughs> Like almost. Just almost. Wow, I'm like almost, almost there. Like Dang. Try this one. It's like more thin. Yeah, these are bomb. They are so good, but they're also so slippery. They're really, that's what she said. <laughs> <laughs> we'll probably put less guacamole and salsa and like just dip them into a sauce or like drizzle some sauce over it or something. I don't know if they're finger foods, but they're really good. What might help is like some kind of white jalapeno sauce. The white jalapeno sauce. If only somebody knew how to make that, right? Hey, if Steve? only somebody in the entire world knew how to make that. I don't yeah, know. if only. We made it last week. 
So, oh, you, oh my god! I, you, guess, I mean, yeah, I definitely watched that episode. Do you remember that? Yes, when you I tasted was, it last that, week? Yeah, no, no, it does right. Yeah, I was definitely there when I tasted it last week because it was jalapenos and it was good. That's right. Oh my gosh, Steve, he's here. Subscribe so you don't miss any of this. Happy Cinco de Mayo. Happy Cinco de Mayo. Remember to hit that like button. Remember to subscribe. Again, I'm Steve Green. Definitely Steve. Definitely Steve. It's so excited. He Like always. So, you know, <laughs> thanks for watching, everybody. Thank you. Oh my god. And also, yeah, I'm going to leave my kitchen like that when I get on a plane. It likes being like that. Leave me alone.